the Daily Dive. Here's what's coming up. Hello? No. I'm just a bear driving. Daddy, is that that? Nope, I'm a bear. Did this father take it too far? This video gaining millions of views and criticism, with many of you saying it is never okay to scare a child. Plus, is it ever okay to snoop through your partner's phone? We'll dive into why more than half of you choose to do it regularly. And if you are addicted to coffee, experts say you can blame it on genetics. The new research behind a taste of bitterness and a cup of joe. Daily Dive starts right now. All right, welcome in, people. You are watching Daily Dive, where we literally dive into all of the trending stories of the morning. I love it. Lou Turner, hey. Katie Jeffries, how y'all feeling? Hi. Feeling good, feeling good. good. Is this the first time you've done this outside? It is. I like this. We got the sunlight. Ooh. It's a nice, warm day on the first coast. Man, well, you know, okay. that's only probably like today. Correct. Maybe tomorrow. You don't want to be out here in the Another rain. week from now, we, we won't be doing this. Don't you worry. We'll be back we'll, cold we'll be again this on weekend. The inside, yeah. All right, so guys, there's this video going around that has a lot of folks talking and going crazy. If you're watching Good Morning Jacksonville, then you saw it. But if you didn't, we are going to fill you in. We actually want you to just watch it and then let us know what you think. Take a look. Hello? No. I'm just a bear driving. Daddy, is that that? Nope, I'm a bear. <laughs> You're in my world now. I want to go back home. You want to go home? Yeah. You are home in my bear cave. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Set the tone. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You're in my I, world now. In the yeah. bear cave. I saw, is, it, is it bad that I laughed that y'all laughed? No. no. Okay. Okay. It's hilarious. So, so people are saying that this father may have taken things a little too far. Because as you can see, the little boy was a little frightened. But the father was using a, a filter through either Snapchat or Instagram. Still unclear which app he was using. But he was using a filter. And um, it turns his face into a bear. Right. And, you know, he used it to, to play so a little funny. prank or, or scare the kid. Yeah. Is it ever okay to scare or prank a kid? I mean, if, you, if it's not, then what are we doing on Halloween? I mean, if Ooh. It, if Preach, it's, if it's not, then the years of hazing I received from my uncle and cousins, <laughs> I, what was that even for? It just made me a stronger, better man now, I suppose. No, I mean, the, the difference between uh, now and, and then, you know, my, I got relentlessly, you know, um, picked on by, you know, various people with my family, just, just having fun. You know what I mean? But yeah. there just was no way to post it on social media. If you could have posted all the time, right. that, they jumped out from behind the door and scared the heck out of me. You know, I mean, so the young man starts crying in the video and I get that. So yeah, touching it. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, maybe, but at the same time, it's, it's hilarious. It's not like he was in a bear suit chasing him mm -hmm. or like released an actual bear to chase him or something like he's just in the car. So the kid can see the back of his dad's head. Yeah. Obviously it's not a bear head. You what know, are people saying are upset? Yeah, yeah all right. I mean, so you know, so the, inter the internet is is, is kind of split on something like this. Um, so we have a couple of you uh, chiming in. You have Kathy that says he's too young for that. Oh. Referring to the kid, the kid is yeah. too young for that. That and, and that's a very question. We're not sure how old this kid was, but um, two or three. Uh, Kathy, another Kathy. Oh no, that's the same cat. He says, "Who is your child to trust? It's just too much." Yeah. Um, hey, good morning to you, Heather. Um, Alex Livingston chime again as well, says, hey, I Alex. can't wait to scare my future kids. Yeah. I actually sent it to my husband and I was like, this is going to be you as a dad. I know it. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I, I see why people may be a little upset because I think you do take a risk um, of, of, of scaring the kids. But here's what I say. If you're going to do that, then don't be surprised when your kid comes knocking at your door at 10, 11 o'clock at Get night yours. because they couldn't go to sleep. Make mm -hmm. room for them in the bed yep. because you you did what you did, which was to scare them. So you can't really be mad at them for coming in. But at the end of the day, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's that deep. And then Kathy also saying he is stuck in the car. So that's why she thinks that it was probably bad uh, for, for the child. I, my, the, the thing is, there's a thing uh, called street justice. And <laughs> I'm just looking forward to when this young man gets old enough to scare the hell out of his dad. I mean, you just <laughs> go to town, young man. You, you Video it. Post you get him back. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, the only... The, this is a bigger internet question as a whole. Uh, 
I get you have a little fun with your kids. Um, and now, granted, I post pictures of, and videos of my children on Instagram, but it's always in, in an attempt to show them in the very best light. And right. I always have a little bit of hesitation when I see moms and dads posting videos of their kids on the internet that shows them in less than a favorable light. Like this, is, them, this is there forever now. And now the kid's upset. He's obviously emotional. Emo emo and I'm not faulting the dad, but I, it's just something I would never do. I would, if I had the video, it'd be between my wife and me or uh, some like if, uh, immediate, yeah, maybe immediate family members. Well, I'll have a chuckle, but let's not put this out there for 10 million people to take a look at. And, and that's, that's, that's the thing. It, it goes viral. Feel, it it goes makes you feel weird. Yeah. Yeah. It goes viral. Um, yeah. I'm going to just get to a couple of the comments. Jenny said, we used to be scared every day somehow, jumping out from behind yes. stuff. Um, um, Brittany says, I scare mine all the time. They prank me back. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, Julie's saying, my little monsters love to jump scare me. If I can't get them back, or if I can't get them back, I will. And then Lauren say, this is getting a little dramatic. I would scare my kids all day long Certainly. with that. Um, yeah, I mean, guys, it's a filter. It's it's social media. Yeah. It it I is laughed. what it is. It's, yeah. it's, I don't I don't know if it's if it's really that deep. Um, Alma's saying, get a grip, folks. It's all in fun. Yep. And in their home, pranks are normal. My kid's sister is the prankster in our fam. She scared her two-year-olds, and yep. they would laugh and laugh and laugh. So I don't know if you guys, if you're just joining us, we're talking about um, a, a father who's gone viral, him and his son, for this video where he puts on a, a bare face filter, and uh, he scares the kid. So he's not like roaring at him or anything like that, making any noises. But the kid is obviously looking at the phone and he's seeing, oh, my dad has a bear face. But they're in the car together. The kid can obviously see his dad is still there, but he cries out and whatnot. So a lot of you guys are chiming in about this. Katie, you brought up something great. Yeah, what are we doing on Halloween if, mean, if we're going to make the biggest deal out of something like how, this? How many people scare kids on Halloween? Like, you pretend right. to be, like, a decoration, and then you jump up, and, like, the kids throw candy and scream. Right? Like, you're still scaring kids then or sending them through, like, little haunted houses where you're scaring them. Like, you as I long as it's laugh. not to the point where, like, you know, they're having a breakdown or they're, like, right. wetting themselves. Like, that's yeah. a different yeah. level. But, like, little things are, are fine, to, in my opinion. Hey, y'all let us know. What, what do you think? Jamie, hey, Jamie, good morning. She says good morning to all of us. Morning. Um, Kathy said, yeah, payback's going to come. Um, that's going to be the best part. Nisi yep. said, I scare my daughter and she loves to scare me. See, I think it's things like we don't know. We only know what we know from that video. So who knows if that little kid. Oh, he get, his, his. get his pops back one day or something like that. I mean, Certainly. or he's going to be in therapy for years. <laughs> I think Talking that's what some people video. really think. I'm like, listen, they will look back on this some years from now, probably laugh at it. Yeah. Uh, he probably, uh, the little boy may have not even been, you know, scared. Sounds like, like his dad's think. a jokester. Like, exactly. you know, so just sounds like he's just going to have a dad that's going to joke around with him. Not to steer the ship. I am like super hyped to talk about the next topic. Ooh, super hype. Well, let's steer it, baby. I'm uh, ready. Because I know folks on the internet are going to have a lot to talk about. All right. So, talk to, to, so Brooks, introduce this one. This is great. Ooh, what is it? So, uh, snooping through your partner's phone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Snooping through your partner's phone. Sure. All right, so there's this new study uh, for phone snooping that shows 50% of Americans have admitted to looking through their partner's phone. Now, let me, let me be clear. 50% of Americans have admitted. Admitted. Yes, he were to, uh, yeah, admitted to looking through their partner's phone with this large number of people who believe doing so is a no-no. So you have 31% of people who think it is okay to snoop, and then you have 61%, however, that say it's never okay to look through a partner's phone. I'll be first. Don't go through my phone. Don't go yeah. through it. I don't have anything to hide. But if right. you trust me, trust me. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, right. I'm on board. Like, if you trust your partner, there's no reason you should be going through their phone. I think the second you start going through their phone, it's because you you don't trust them and that relationship's going to start to break down right you don't have the trust i uh I, partner is is a loose term so when i say uh, there are various types of partners so if you are a partner that doesn't have a wedding ring on stay the heck off of that other partner's <laughs> phone unless they say and they unlock it for you and they say here take a look at some of this funny stuff and you start scrolling uh, but if you are married if you've got the ring on the finger if you've made those glorious vows you know i I think it's just kind of like, what's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. Grab the phone, go through it. Find that phone number for me. Do it without nerves. I think things change. And I, I, I don't think it's a matter of, oh, I don't trust you. Uh, but I'll be quick to grab my wife's phone and, uh, 
help her, you know, find a phone number that she needed. Real well, I think quick that's different than snooping. Snooping. I was going to say that. You got to yeah. think. Snooping is truly when you're going behind and that like, person's who's back. Who are they texting? And you're actually the in their phone yeah. trying to see something and trying to find something. Is that actually okay? If, if, if I trust you, you're my partner, we're in a relationship, whether we're married or just boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, if you want to see my phone, just, to just ask. Shoot, just go on and ask. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, hey, babe, I'm going to look at blah, 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 blah. When, you, when I hear snooping, that means you went through my actual yeah. phone like and you were probably back. trying to find something. Yeah. Right. And you're not going to. So I think it's the word. Like, same thing. Chris has my password. So right. I have his. So it's like if, if he needed a number that's in my phone, like, go get it. But that's different, I think, than, like, him. If I'm, like, in another room, like, okay, who's she talking to? What's right. going on? Right. You know, that, I think that's different. Yeah, snooping is different. But at the same time... If I'm out of the room, if and and you know she needs to make a call and I, she doesn't ask, for it. she doesn't need to. She just need to take the phone and do it. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think that's new. I don't think. Yeah. 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 Um, now I'll tell you what makes me nervous, like super nervous, because I get like on ridiculous text group text with a bunch oh. of my old school friends. You know what <laughs> I mean? So like buddies from high school, and we are crass, we're crude, and we say some off the wall stuff. And send each other off the wall memes and pictures. And that's just part of our thing. Right. So what gets me nervous. So the other day, um, I was the general manager of this television station. Our boss mm-hmm. is coming by the desk. And uh, he he asked me about my daughter. She had been sick. So I, I just took a picture. And I was like, hey, take a look at this. Oh, so no. instead of him just looking from my hand, he said, give me that phone. <laughs> and he grabs the phone. And, and Rob, Did he swipe? He starts swiping <laughs> out. I'm like, you never swipe. My friend. You sign my paycheck. <laughs> Let's pump the brakes <laughs> on swiping, my friend. Because what you're going to find might be something that may, may make you question that, that's my what I'm sanity. Saying. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? I mean but it's my phone. Yeah. But I say, okay, look. Never so, swipe on somebody's <laughs> phone. So wait, Lauren says, picture. if you search through their phone, you will eventually find something that... Even if it means nothing, you yeah. tend to jump to conclusions. Sure. Yeah, that's typically how it goes. And I believe something. Heather said like something inception. as well. If we could pop her comment back up. Heather was basically saying she was giving a single person's perspective, saying that I think it just disappeared on me. Um, but anyway, so you... We, she said you're not trusting the relationship. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I, and I think that's true. That's that's exactly what it is. So I, I'm all for... You know, having share, you know having a password that that's nothing to me. That is what it is. Absolutely. Like, yeah. and my thing is, I even tell people when they take my phone and and go through pictures and everything like that. Honestly, I don't have anything in there to hide, but I always tease people. And I'm like, all right, keep scrolling. You yeah. gonna find something you ain't supposed <laughs> you to see in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got yeah. three scrolls in there. But I'm like, you are at your own risk. I don't have to explain anything about what's in my cellular <laughs> device. So right. I, I just think the biggest thing is. Some people are going to admit it, but I do think that there are probably more people that sneak through their partner's phone. But I think if you have to do that, that's a little uh, unfortunate because that may show a lack of trust. If I trust you, I don't have anything to worry about. Right. You know, I think so. All right. This last one, guys. And y'all keep chiming in. Good morning to all of you that are just joining us. So, coffee drinkers? Yes. Yes. I miss it. Bitter or sweet? Uh, I like a little bit of cream. Uh, I, I take it black. I just want a black cup of coffee. That's disgusting. Hot and black. <laughs> yeah, well, I love it. That's very disgusting. No, it's the best. It is. I it's an so, acquired taste. I get oh, it. Okay, I okay. Get it. It's an acquired taste. So they say if yes. you're addicted to coffee, you might want to blame it on genetics because experts say some people are just more likely to quickly develop a taste for the bitterness of yep. a cup of joe. Now, this new study found some people are more sensitive to that bitter taste uh, than others, but it's not just coffee. Those genetic differences actually give you some influence on how you like your tea and how you like your alcohol as well. Really? I have had two cups of coffee for my 20 something years of life and I plan to keep it that way. I just don't like it. Maybe one day when my taste buds change a little bit, I'll like it, but I'm, I'm not a fan. Not yeah. that all types. It's it's well maybe two types. I, but, you know. I I buy the genetic thing because it's it's huge in my family. You know what I mean? Like my grandpa would uh, start every morning with a pot of black coffee. Goodness. I remember that one before we we go like hunting and he'd have this. And then that's my mom's like dad. Gulp. And then mom, you know, same way starts every morning. I don't know if it, it's something in the genetics or if it's just something in the it's this comfort. You know what I mean? I just remember it. That's how everybody in my family started their day. The smell of it all. I, if I sat here and said to myself, do I really love the taste of it? I don't know. I just like the, the feel, the vibe. Yeah, same way. I don't know if I love the taste of coffee, but I like how it's part of my routine. Like, yep. 
even when I get up in the morning and I drink decaf now, when I drink it, it's more holding it in little sips. Like, I don't even drink the cup. It's just the smell and, yeah. like, the, I don't know. I just yeah. like that. Y'all, keep the coffee, keep the coffee. But hopefully you have you a good cup of joe this morning. Guys, we thank you so much for joining us. Amen. It's been real. Brooks Baptiste, Lewis Turner. You like Lou Turner or Lewis Turner? You, you I'm know going what? with you Lewis can, today. You, that's great. That's very Because that's what you I'm going to do. his formal name. I appreciate Ms. that. Miss Katie Jeffries Amen. in the building. Got to put a miss on her name. <laughs> Misses, actually. <laughs> All right, guys, we appreciate you so much for joining us. And we'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock right here on The Daily Dive.